Hello, beautiful people. My name is Kathy, traveling with Charity, and I travel with my three babies, Hope, Faith, and Cassie. And there's Charity right there. And there's my home. I bought land. Can you believe it? I've had this land not quite a year, and I'm still excited just excited about it well today I'm off and I'm gonna go into town and buy more pots uh, dirt and seeds so I can start plant uh, planting some stuff um, I was talking to some good friends of mine yesterday net and Carrie and Net told me that I need to start planting at the end of this month, but I'm just gonna do it now since we're getting really good weather. Um, and I also am getting a greenhouse. It's like a little cheap greenhouse. I don't know, it costs like $89 or something like that and you nail it in the, um, in the dirt. But I think that will help with the, um, with the rabbits. We have tons of rabbits around here. But the funny thing is that lately, there's been um, coyotes. And I have never seen a coyote um, since I've been here, but I've heard them. But today, actually today and a couple of days ago when I was coming back, uh, a coyote was running. It's like by herself, you know? And it's a grown one and it's kind of big. Well, it's like the same size as Hope. And um, and I'm thinking, why is it by itself? It's like so um, kind of sad because there are packs, I can hear them, but there's also this one that's by his or herself. And, and I've read on that sometimes they um, kick them out of the tribe for whatever reason. And and that's kind of sad to me. But the coyote just like walked right by and just like was looking sad. And trust me, and I do know that there are coyote, the coyotes, they will take one, they will send one coyote to wherever there's uh, some food and, and pretend that they're getting ready to play with them and lure them into um, the whole pack and you know that's their dinner so that's a scary thing as well but luckily hope and hope and faith they listen to me they they won't go anywhere and, and you know if i say come they come cassie won't that's why her butt's tied up and and i can't afford the fence like like right now um but I'm gonna keep looking because maybe I can find a professional that comes out here and you know make like little um, payment plans or something like that. But we're on our way downtown to uh, get everything that I said: seeds, dirt, and little whatever you call them, the containers. Uh, because some of the stuff I know you have to plant and then put them on the inside and then they start growing on the inside and then you bring them out or whatever. And this is going to be my first trial run because I have never done anything like this ever, planting. And, and I want to do it. And I also want like flowers and stuff, you know? I don't want just like, you know stuff that I could eat, but I want some flowers. So let's go. I'm gonna take you with me. Okay, I am at the store. And this is Dollar General. They have everything. They have all this Easter stuff. But right here is where I wanna go. Oops. Dirt. Oh, they even have these little flower thingies for birds and stuff. And these, these never work for me. I don't know why. Well, I do know why because I don't have a green thumb. 
And then here are these. You know, you start your little flowers or whatever. And I'm not doing it. And they have more little ones up here. But all I'm going to do is get these kind of things. And just start it in here. You know? Okay. I'm feeling overwhelmed. <laughs> because I don't know. But I do like these colors. So maybe I'll get a <coughs> excuse me, I'll get a couple of these. Um I love the red. I already have the red. I think I'll just do two of those. So I'll put four all together. And then maybe I will get a couple of white, but in the smaller. These are only like four dollars because they're not they're plastic. So I'll get two small whites. And then one of each. There we go. Glass seeds, I don't need that. Do I need these? I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get these. They're only two dollars and fifty cents. Look at all this stuff and all these solar lights and stuff like that. And these are for the bird feeders. That's so cool. And then the bird seeds. How much are five dollars for the bird seeds? I don't know. And then this. Sunflower feast. Hmm. Serious stuff here, huh? And I know we have, they have seeds somewhere to plant some stuff. And I don't see it. Okay, I'm going to look really quick and here's the bigger bags of uh what do you call it soil and i love these i'll probably get a couple of these they're only a dollar stick them in the ground that one's pretty as well how much is this one that one's five dollars but that's really pretty these are. Oh, let's see. $25. I have enough chairs. So I'm going to get another bag of these. Well, I got everything except the, um, what do you call it? Uh, um, the seeds. But I think I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to do seeds and I'm going to get like like the herbs and stuff. I'm going to go to Home Depot one day. I'm not going to do it today. And um, get the herbs and stuff that are already planted. So I just have to replant them. So right now I'm going to go to Safeway. And I'm going to see if they have any seeds. I think I saw some before. So anyway, there you go. I'll see you in a minute. Well, they didn't have any at Safeway, so. But of course, I got other stuff. Um, so I'm gonna try one more spot, and that is True Value. I'm thinking that True Value um, probably has it, even though they don't sell like um, plants and all that stuff, which I think they should. 
but they're expensive as well, you know? They definitely charge you for the convenience. But let's go and check it out. Well, I found them. I found them. I'm not going to get a whole bunch because, like I said, I'm not good at this. I'm going to test it. So, what I do want are some bell peppers. Um... Golly, are red, are red onions hard to do? I don't know. Let's try it. Um, I'm not really into peppers. I do like tomatoes, so... How about the tomato bushes? Let's do some lettuce. And that's it for now. And how about some kind of flour? Hmm. I like those colors. Let's see. Oh gosh, they even have broccoli. Okay, I like sunflowers. Let's try these. Okay, oh my goodness, I do like romaine lettuce as well. We'll see. Well, as you saw, I got them. I am so excited and I hope at least some of them, you know, grow. And I know that the green onions, um, I can, I could have just like bought those green onions and um, put them in a, a wa some water, a glass of water or something like that until the roots grew and then put, potted them. I already know I could have done that and but I just want to try something new. There's like a couple of things that I could have done. But I'm excited. So let's go home and plant them. I'll see you when I get home. Well, I finally made it home. And um, the first thing I did was uh, gather some rocks so I can have it to be like a little bit stable and don't have to put that much dirt in it. So let me show you the rocks that I did. So I collected these rocks, got my dirt out, and there are my pots. So let's get started. All right, let's rock and roll. Putting on these gloves that I bought today. There's just a little bit of wind, so bear with me. these four first.
really thank you, thank you, thank you to the people that donated to my Cash App because this is one of the things that I'm using my money for. Oh, 
is too much, but I'm going to go for it anyway. How about that? Okay. Let me get this in the corner so I can remember what it is. look like popsicle sticks or something so I can uh, know what they are before these bags get soggy from watering them. And then the last but not least, I'm not going to do the small plants, are the red onions. putting them here for now. They're in between the house and the RV. Yep. And Hope is inspecting them, making sure that I did it right and I probably didn't do it right. But that's okay. This is my first time ever doing this kind of stuff. So now I am totally hungry. So I'm going to make myself a plant-based um, sandwich and actually believe it or not I'm going to take you with me oh my god I can't believe I'm doing this in front of you guys anyway I need to wash up and all that good stuff so I'll be right back first things first let's wipe this table off my goodness So 
I've washed my hands. I gotta wash the this. But let me show you what I'm making. OMG chickpeas and it's going to be like a chicken salad or tuna salad kind of thing so i gotta drain these wash these and then crush them and this right here of course i gotta wash and cut these up and just cut these up so be right back okay Everything is cut up. I like a lot of onions, but I don't think I'm going to use all these onions. Um, they're cut up and washed. And then also the chickpeas are... Excuse me, honey. That's enough. Uh, the chip chickpeas have been washed, cleaned. And when you wash the chickpeas you'll see some like bubbles or something. Just keep washing until you don't see any more bubbles. And by the way, this is my first time doing chickpea sandwich, but I'm just thinking it's gonna be so good. And I'm gonna do it all in this bowl because I don't think I'm gonna eat it off, make one sandwich out of this so I can put it in the refrigerator. So that's what I'm gonna do. And first things first is I gotta chop it up I guess and I'm just going to use a fork just use a fork I hope this is good man it just seems like it will be but let me just say this um, first of all I had nothing but plant based food for um, five days and um, I had tofu which was my first time eating and it was really good actually um, but I'm not swearing that I am going to be plant based like the whole time I know I'm going to eat less meat and um, and I think I want to cut out beef but maybe it needs to be pork I don't know Either way it goes, um, I'm going to do the plant base for, you know, maybe two to three weeks out of, yeah, two to three times out of the week. So we'll see. And then you never know. I might go all the way plant based. You never know. But I know I'm not committing myself to plant base, I am committing myself to eat clean feel better all that good stuff and i gotta tell you i know this is too much information my poop is even better i'm like what the heck so yeah i'm not sure if i'm gonna go plant-based like totally forever but i am definitely going to eat more fruits and vegetables and I'm going to go back to doing smoothies as well. So, okay, it's looking like it's supposed to look. Yeah. It's looking like it's supposed to look. The dogs are definitely like, mm, that smells good. They even did that with tofu. And I'm like, seriously? Maybe my dogs just like to eat anything. Yeah, but that tofu was really good. I um, I fried it up. I put it over my salads, but I fried it up, but not like, you know, frying chicken, a whole bunch of oil. Um, I fried it up and um, wait, I got it. I put... Um, cornstarch on it and uh, fried it up and it was so crispy I swear I wanted to get some ketchup I thought I was having french fries but they were really good and I seasoned it really well so I don't know since this is my first time making it um, I don't know if this is this is what it's supposed to look like but I think it is 
shoot, it's actually looking like chicken when I do it. That is something else. Yeah, it's looking good. So let me get some seasoning. Yeah, it's looking good. Excuse me, honey bun. So let's see. I'm just going to use some um, onion and garlic powder. I'm trying to stay away from salt as well. And this right here, garlic powder, it's like you can use so much. Oh, and, oh I don't think I've, I have my pepper. I think I finished all my pepper. Ratzola. Is this? No. That's pink Himalaya salt. I think I finished all my pepper. Oh, I have a little bit coming out. But that's it. Garbage. Okay. That's not looking bad, you guys. Okay, let's do the onions. Get out of there. Yeah, I think I want it all. Yep, this is looking and smelling good, actually. I can't believe it! Please be good. Okay. Okay. I just noticed that it was going a little sideways, so hopefully that it's not sideways. But anyway, I put some vegan uh, mayonnaise in it, mustard and relish, and I'm going to stir this up. And um, let me just say this. Vegan must mayonnaise doesn't taste as good as... <laughs> other mushroom, I mean, um, mayonnaise. I mean, it's okay, but, you know, whatever. But, yeah, that looks like chicken salad or, um, tuna salad. Okay, I'm just gonna taste just a little bit, see if I need more seasoning. And I can taste it with my fork, because I'm the only one eating it. Okay, I can do this. I can definitely, without a doubt, do this. But it does need some salt. Uh, let's see. I'll just do some seasoned salt. Okay. Cassie, what are you growling about? Why, why are you growling at your sister? Goodness gracious. Why are you growling at your sister? So, yeah, this is definitely chicken salad, without a doubt. And I'm sure you can, like, put... Um, stuff in it to make it like maybe Old Bay to make it taste like um, seafood stuff or whatever. But I am getting ready to toast my bread and make my sandwich. Be right back. 
Okay, my sandwich is finished and it looks absolutely delicious. I mean, really delicious. And um, of course I've been tasting it uh, without the bread and everything, but it is so good. Let me show you guys how good it looks. Okay, what I put on top is um, avocados and I seasoned the avocados with everything but the bagel. And I'm gonna take a bite and I'll let you know how it is. I'm gonna cut it in half and I toasted the bread and the bread is uh, sourdough, sourdough bread. Oh, you hear that crunch? I don't know if you can with all the biting of the bones that the dogs are doing right now. And Cassie just ate hers, but she's looking for more. So now she's going to be growling at one of them. Oh, you're finished. So maybe she won't be growling. Okay, here goes. I just washed my hand and put lotion on. Oh my, I'm eating chicken salad, y'all. And that's for real, that's for real. This is so delicious. And then with the avocado on top, oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. So good, let me get another paper towel. Come on, get down. Get down, Cassie, you already ate. I um, walked the dogs and then came back and finished the sandwich off. But I am so happy that I made this um, chickpea salad in a container. So all I gotta do is put it in the refrigerator now. It's so cool. And this is so good. Trust and believe when I tell you this is good. Um, and in my chicken salad, when I made, used, when I made chicken salad, I used to put boiled eggs and all that stuff. There's no boiled eggs and it still tastes really good. <clears throat> and there was something else I wanted to talk to you guys about. Oh, the land. Um, when I posted the, about the land, oh, why am I? Okay, I got it. When I was, um, when I posted about the land on my, one of my videos, I don't know if it was the last one or not, but um, uh, I got a lot of people emailing me saying that the realtor didn't know where the land was because she has so many signs up and she um, contacted me and I answered as many as I could. Um, the land is off of I-64. And um, if you're still interested, just give her a call and um, see if you guys can set something up. But she has a lot of listings, as she said, because she emailed me. Cassie! She had a lot of, she has a lot of listings. So you may not want to live right here. You may want to live someplace else. So give her a call. She has a lot of um, listings. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> I just said stop it and her ass barked at me ah! you see her in the back she is the spo most spoiled brat in the world you are a spoiled brat honey give me a kiss thank you but I'm going to finish this because I don't want to keep eating in front of you it's just so rude let me know if you guys want to see more of me preparing meals, um, cooking on the stove and all that good stuff, it is nerve wracking, I'll tell you. But if you guys are interested in it, let me know and I will do more cooking videos. Well, not the whole video will be a cooking video, you know, maybe at the end or do something in the beginning and then cook myself something. But right now I'm really hungry. 
but I want to thank the old subscribers, the new subscribers, and the subscribers to come. Thank you so much. We're going to get 10,000 soon. And don't forget, if you want to support me, please join my channel. I really appreciate you. Make it a great day and be free. Be free.